Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of Google Bard, Google's alternative or rival to chat GPT. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at bard.google.com and let's enter a prompt. Let's say I need a training plan for a 100 mile bike ride that I have coming up. So let's say what's a good training plan for a 100 mile bike ride. And we'll just enter our query. And Bard will then spit out a suggested training plan for me. Now, this is different than just doing a Google search where I'll find lots of links to training plan websites and coaches. This is actually giving me some suggestions for a training plan. And you can see there it is now. If I go to the upper right corner, we'll see other drafts and we'll see a couple different options there. But let's say I need to alter this. And let's say, uh, what if the race is in eight weeks from now? And we'll see the results that we get will be altered because I've now entered that prompt of right, what is the plan for eight weeks from now. And you can see here it says you can still follow the 12-week training plan, but you need to adjust the schedule. Right. Now, again, in the upper right-hand corner, we can see some other draft options, and we can just click through those. And we can say, yeah, we like that. We don't like that response. We can reload it and get a new response altogether. We can go and Google it. So let's click on that Google it button and we'll see, oh, there's a link now to go to all of these websites that offer training plans. And the last thing I want to point out is over here in the bottom right corner, you can copy the text of your conversation and paste it into a document or anywhere else that you might paste a bunch of text. So that's a short overview of Google's Bard. I'm sure there's much more that you can do with it than what I've done. And if you want to see how this compares to Microsoft Bing with ChatGPT, click the link in the description down below.